Hey guys, it's Tuesday, and I did not say I was coming on here, but uh, my husband took the dog to my son's lacrosse, and so that just has allowed me a little bit of alone time. So what better thing to do than hop on and do some crafting? Okay, let's turn the volume down. And hopefully some folks will join me. I know I didn't announce and like I said, super impromptu, but um, okay. Tra <laughs> Do you love my hand? Oh my gosh. So puppy is three weeks old, three weeks, three months old. And um, yeah, she likes to jump up. She likes to use her teeth. So got me there, got me here today, and I can't keep a Band-Aid on, hence the giant piece of tape, because at work I'm washing my hands and using sanitizer um, between patients. So it's, uh, yeah, that's like my fourth Band-Aid today, and this was my, this is what I went with. Okay, so I am going to be posting, I have like half the details set up for a class to go using the On The Horizon stamp set, the bundle, the, the dies, and the DSP. Um, so I've already designed three of the cards and I'm going to be, hi Sherry, um, the class I said would be five cards and a box. So I'm not sure that this card I'm about to make will be one of the cards, but I saw this idea on Pinterest and I thought it was really clever and I will credit her in the comment after. And so I wanted to try it. I also, she did, she did it on basic white and I wanted to just keep using the um, DSP because it is amazing. So we're going to do a landscape card, which means this at the most can be five and a half, but we don't even want it to be five and a half. I'm going to, so a normal, if we were to do a mat would be five and a quarter. And then to go inside of that would be five. I'm going to start with this at five and we might cut it even smaller, but I'm going to cut that off for starters. And then we would want four and a quarter would be the full card. Four would be our normal, like having a border and then a border on top of that would be like three and three quarters. Okay, we're gonna cut that down after we do the adhering. So what I have done, and in case you weren't aware, so these dies are super cool, right? We have all these dies, um, and some of them are obvious, right? We've got like the trees, the little houses, um, the fence, you've got some of the greenery here, you've got this mountain, which has two layers to it. I did do my die cutting ahead of time so that we could just minimize how much video time we were using. And then you've got this mountain. And then you have this piece, which could be a bunch of things. It could just be like a, a rolling hill. It could be water. Um, so those are the dies that I've played with. But what I wanted to let you know, see I draw on here so I know how to put them back in case you're wondering what I'm doing. All of these dies will fit in the mini stamp and emboss, which is on sale for the month of March, right? So it is definitely, I love this tool, it's great. If you don't have a cut emboss at all, this one you could definitely start with. You can't get all the dies or all the folders because it's not as big, but I also love it for traveling. I love it for when I just want to stamp upstairs or whatever. But like I said, I have done the die cutting, so I just wanted to let you know what was going on here. Okay, so we are going to create a little scene with all of these die cuts. So like I said, the card that I am casing, she had it on white, but I wanted to use the DSP. Now, I need my silicone sheet. Here we are. If I was smart, <laughs> oh, famous last words. I would have used an adhesive sheet under this little white guy. Hello, Janet D. But um, I wasn't. But if you follow my blog or my Instagram, the card I shared yesterday 
I talked about adhesive sheets. I talked about the foam sheets. They are definite must haves and they make things so much easier. You kind of have to know you want to use them. And I'm not always so good with that with the adhesive sheets, but I, I definitely could have used it here. So I have die cut this, the first mountain in crumb cake. And then I wanted to have it still be snow tipped. Snow tipped, does that make sense? Um, because that's what the mountains are like right now still here, okay? So now we are just gonna layer all of these elements on here. I chose this piece of DSP because I think we've got our sky, we've got our water, and I'm just gonna sort of cover up this bit in the middle. And it's really so pretty. The back is not something I would necessarily use, so I thought this was a good one to use. So I'm just gonna kind of space this out. This piece is going to, you can see, it's gonna go like almost all the way across the way I've done this now. So I am going to glue this down first. And I'm gonna put a little bit of glue at each edge and a little bit on the bottom and a little on the top. And I'm not gonna to press too hard because I wanna stick some things, some things underneath. Okay, so there is the, the big mountain, for lack of a better word. Now, if you're wondering, <laughs> I give you this nice piece of paper in the middle that hopefully, and then I still need my stamping bits off the side. I know, I'm a class act, folks, a class act. Um, and so then we're gonna put some adhesive on this guy. And then this is going to tuck behind. And that's why I put some adhesive, but I didn't want to press too hard because I want to make sure. And I'm just kind of bringing it here so it's gonna be hidden. Shannon. Okay, and then this piece of water is going to go underneath and then our trees. So I'm going to put a little bit of adhesive on here as well and I'm going to put some on our cute little poplars. I think these are considered poplars. All right. So I'm just gonna slide this under a bit just so we don't have big edges, meeting edges. And then we're gonna take the, these guys and put them right there. So the colors I have used, so we have our um, soft succulent, which is an in color that we'll be carrying over for another year. We have um, evening evergreen, so another one that's carrying over for another year. Misty moonlight, which of course is retiring, and then like I said, crumb cake and basic white. So you can see that we've kind of fancied up our DSP, and now we have to create our card front. So we could still do a little bit of stamping and stamp the birds, or we might just leave it um, without stamping. Now, the card that I saw was on a misty moonlight card base. Now, I believe, so I'm just trying to decide, I want this to kind of be in the middle. So I am going to take a pencil, hoping that I have one, and lightly mark where I want to cut. 
Um, oh, here we go. One of my son's like eight trillion pencils that he gets sent back home from school. Okay, I'm also going to use a ruler though because that would be excellent. So I am going to cut this here and then I am going to cut here. Okay. Very scientific. So if you joined in late, I had cut this piece of paper to five down from a six by six, but I wasn't sure um, how short I wanted it. So I'm just going to do that now. I'm gonna cut away my pencil mark. And, and so what I'm ending up with is three and three quarters. I'm actually gonna make it three and three quarters. So our DSP became three and three quarters by five. Oh, that looks so pretty. So like I said, the card that I'm casing, she had done it on basic white, but I think it looks so beautiful on that DSP, like stunning, stunning, stunning. So we could put it on a Misty Moonlight card base, which like I said, is what the card that I saw was, which is really pretty. I made a card that's gonna be one of the cards in the classes and I used the Blackberry, which I thought was stunning as well. Um, the other pink in here is the Polish Pink, which I think would not be what we're looking for but I'm going to just pull out a piece of the Blackberry just to see what that looks like. So, okay, I've, there's a few of you watching. So would you put this card on a Blackberry background or on a Misty Moonlight? We could frame it in Misty Moonlight and then do it on a Blackberry card base or we could frame it in Blackberry and do it on Misty Moonlight. Hmm, I do like it framed in the Blackberry, but I don't know if I like the Blackberry on the Misty Moonlight. So if we framed it in the Misty Moonlight and did it on the Blackberry, I do like that. What do you guys think? I don't hear anyone answering. So I'm just gonna make my own decisions. I'm gonna go with the Blackberry card base because I think it looks pretty. Yes. <laughs> okay, I see an emphatic yes. So I'm gonna presume you are going with what I said. So I think this sheet is already my eight and a half, eight and a half. So I'm gonna cut this by five and a half. And then I'm gonna score that at four and a quarter. Okay, there is my card base. And don't forget when you score, sometimes you still have to make sure your, make sure your edges line up before you really come in there and use your bone folder, which you know, as usual, mine is wherever I was last crafting as opposed to where it is supposed to be. Okay, um, that's actually a card, so we're not gonna use that. And then I'm going to grab a piece of Misty Moonlight. I'm going to be sad to see this color go. I'm not gonna lie, it's gonna be very sad. Okay, so I'm gonna frame this out in the Misty Moonlight. So I said this was three and three, no, five. So I'm gonna make it, I think five and an eighth. I just want a very subtle border. So I don't want full five and a quarter. 
and then three and three quarters, so it's gonna be three and seven eighths. So if you are local, or not even local, if you're Canadian, and you are interested in this class to go, I'm gonna get all the details up, oh my God, so pretty, on my page. For sure by the end of tomorrow, I just have to price it out. Right now this DSP is unavailable, as is the ribbon, but they're both due back in as of Monday. So I'm hoping that that will be the case. And uh, then we can go ahead. So I'm going to put that on here. Like, right, this did, this did not take us long. I mean, admittedly, I did the die cutting ahead of time, but beautiful card with just these dies and um, so sometimes I just throw a whole sheet under there just to see if I want to pop it up because it's so simple. Sometimes I like to just pop it up as opposed to leave it flat. And we still have to stamp on it though. So hang tight. We need a greeting of some type. So in the card that I was casing, she just simply had breathe down here in the water. So really subtle, um, which I think is actually really lovely. And then you can use this card sort of for however you need it. And she had that in the blue. So it very subtly blended in. So yeah, I was holding off on this class because I was waiting for the embellishments to come back in and then I realized the embellishments are in but now the paper and the ribbon are not. Oh my gosh. Sorry, you just really got my hair there. My apologies. Clearly I need to get uh, my hair done, which is happening next week. Okay, so we're gonna pop this up. When I pop up an entire layer I usually do too many. <laughs> so I either do all the corners and then two more, or sometimes I do six and then I do eight. I know, it's ridiculous. Especially for me, because I used to cut dimensionals in half. But look at how I've grown so much. Okay, we are killing it here on time. And we're just going to pop that down. What do you think, you guys? I mean, it's not fancy, but I still think it's beautiful. And as I said, I will put in the comment, the first comment, or I'll even put it in my description when I edit this, who I cased. And like I said, she had done it on basic white, but I think it looks so stunning on this DSP. Um, so if you don't have this yet, you need it. Um, these products are available until the end of June. Let me double check that. And yeah, June 30th. But they keep going unorderable. So if you love them, you wanna grab them. Yay. I'm not gonna add anything else. No embellishments, nothing. I love it. It's just super simple. And that's that, folks. So have a great night. Um, like I said, look for the announcement. Now that I have this, that we did this so quickly, I'm actually gonna go get that sorted, sorted out right now before I get um, the whole family comes back home. And uh, yeah, hopefully I will have a chance to get on a bit more over the next week and a bit since it's spring break. Bye.